r slash ask reddit, what's one thing that can instantly make you bond with a total stranger? Nah for a moment, you were one of them. Eating on public transit or while walking is considered pretty rude in Japan, which trips a lot of Americans up. I'm gonna start doing this on public transit to increase public unity. An apropos comment. On a particularly cold Colorado morning, a total stranger and I entered a Target store nearly the same time. As she turned to hold the door for me she questioned, where's a hot flash when you need one? Pretty funny since we both were 50 plus. We instantly formed a camaraderie of misery. Wahahaha. <laughs> I gotta remember that one. I need to go to sleep. I misread that last line as camel toe of misery. A good laugh over something unexpected, it's like a moment when you both find something funny at the same time. It breaks the ice and creates an instant connection, making it feel like you've known each other for much longer than a few minutes. When they show empathy for others. This. I love this. It just makes me like people instantly, especially when it is a hard moment to show empathy. Trauma. Being lost slash confused and finding someone who is equally lost slash confused. Yup, good and bad thing. A shared love for the same obscure TV show or meme. During the pandemic, I wore a face mask designed like a Star Trek uniform. I exchanged many Vulcan salutes with strangers who recognized it. Sharing a good laugh over something funny, humor is a great icebreaker. Humor always wins. I use it in potentially tense situations and I feel that most people are looking for a funny story to tell later versus complaining about what we in the states have to call problems. A late bus. The only bad part about quitting smoking is I can't light a fresh smoke to summon the bus when it's late. Literally happened to me this morning. Taking shelter under a tree due to extremely heavy rain and wild winds. As long as there's not lightning. Happened to me once in Seattle for a candlelight quartet concert. I'd gone alone, stumbled into another alone dude looking for the concert, so we stumbled around together until we found it. Got drinks together and ended up making friends with a handful of exchange students who'd also attended. We all rode the bus for some time, and then the subway back and the group slowly dissolved as we got to our respective stops. One of the best nights I ever had. One time in college, I offered a fellow student my umbrella during a storm. We huddled under our umbrella in the heavy rain and chatted. It was a pleasant conversation and over almost as quickly as it started. We never saw each other again as it was a large campus, but I'm grateful for the experience. Being in a dangerous, unexpected situation together. Asterisk between those who have passed through the shadow of death together, there is a bond that would have otherwise taken a thousand days to forge. Asterisk, Madeline Brandt, the Capricorn Stone. This also applies to nurses. There are some nurses who have pulled me through the worst days of my life and we bond so immediately. They're so amazing. That quote goes hard, what's its origin? Sharing the same physical deformity or disability. Or they realize their child has the same neurodivergence as your child. Going somewhere foreign and very far from home and seeing a stranger from your home country. Especially when there are very few people from your home country present. Oh god, until that person is a super dick about their connection to wherever you are. Keep it inside, keep it inside. Dog crazy. Or sobbing over having just lost their dog. Hugged a giant scary biker dude who was blubbering over just putting his dog down. Dog people are my people. Removed. A child throwing a tantrum in a public place. Everyone looks at each other like. On the opposite end, being a mom, whether you're the one with the tantrum thrower, or the one who understands the difficulty and misery of being in the situation. Animal lover. ADHD. I mean we both have too many hobbies, both like to talk too much about said hobbies and both can't notice when we are talking over each other. Wait 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 is this what my problem has been all along? Try all the hobbies. Interrupt people when they are talking because I have so many things to talk about too. At lightning speed. Heavy metal. Whether at a concert or noticing the shirt slash battle jacket patches I've got, I've had whole bonding experiences with strangers like this. In my experience, the absolute friendliest place on the planet is at a metal show. I wish non-metal fans understood what an awesome culture it is. Let me know if you need any adjustments. A car stuck in the snow. You don't know me, I don't know you, but we've all been there before. Push on 3. I have a great memory of when the kids had a snow day off from school. They were all bored. There was like 4 feet of snow outside. My brother-in-law said hey, let's go out and help push people out whose cars are stuck. Six of us went out helping to get people unstuck. 
It was a lot of fun. I like to imagine the third person was on their way to have a cry too. Noticing a fellow Southpaw. Just out of curiosity, are you ambidextrous in almost everything else except writing? Everyone I've known who has been left-handed has been. My guess is this is because lefties have to navigate in a right-handed world from birth. The mutual annoyance by another total stranger. MDMA. I can't believe I had to scroll this far. Um nothing bonds anyone better than the love of drugs. MDMA makes me understand what being a neurotypical extrovert must feel like. Just effortlessly chatting with strangers. Usually alcohol. And then a trip to the bathroom. Humor. Make me laugh and you have a new friend. Music. Sometimes I play piano at train stations and sharing a common passion for music does wonders for bonding with people. When we both are the only two people to see someone do something really weird and then we exchange those what the fuck glances. Right? I play cello in a community orchestra, and I don't know half of the people in it, but we're playing together, moving together, and even breathing together. Super glue. This is the type of humor I can adhere to. If you need anything else, just let me know. Being a Trekkie. Helping out an animal. Mutual kindness added up with common interest or similar experience with something specific. Have the same car. Wear a band shirt and I like the same band. Sharing a mutual love for a niche TV show or movie. Nothing brings people together like geeking out over obscure quotes and favorite scenes. When some form of bullshit happens in public, and everyone can openly agree with each other that's bullshit. Love when this happens. Practically anything. I'm very social, only see the best in people, quick to compliment, and a good listener. Must be the Midwest in me. Seems to bother the wife sometimes though because I have no idea if someone is hitting on me or has ill intentions. Luckily she can see through anyone so that saves me all the time. Deleted. Hatred of a common target brings many people together. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.